are you doing today? Yeah, I'm not bad, thank you. Good, good to hear. Uh, right, let's talk about Series 33. What have you got in store for us? Oh, we've got loads this month. We've got two uh, two new cars uh, and the usual host of uh, monthly content. So kicking things off, uh, it, the 50% completion for the series, we have a Horizon Backstage Pass and uh, 80% the Alpine A110, one of my favorite cars from the last few years, that one. And then for summer, 50% uh, completion, we've got the Mazda FBRX7, the 1985, 80%, we have the 720S by the uh, McLaren. And moving into summer, we've got uh, in Team Lotus, we've got the stunning Lotus 11. And then in summer games, we've got the Aston Martin 177. And moving on, we've got in Forest Monsters, the first of our two new uh, cars this month, the Peugeot 207 uh, Super 2000, which we'll be going into a little bit later on. And then in Redline Rockets, we've got the amazing Formula Drift 599. And in Old Habits Die Hard, we have the insanely fast Koenigsegg Regera. So moving into autumn, 50% uh, completion gives you another uh, backstage pass. And at 80%, you get the third gen Toyota MR2. So then in Silicon Rally, we have the amazing Peugeot 205 T16 Forza Edition with the uh, amazingly huge rear wing that doesn't let you see much in chase cameras. And then in Autumn Games, we've got the one of my favorite cars, this one, the Ferrari 288 GTO. In German engineering, we've got the BMW E92 M3 GTS, one of Mike Brown's favorite cars there. In priceless Porsches, we've got the 2018 Porsche Cayenne Turbo. And in overnight parts, of course, you get a Toyota Supra. This one is the third gen to be specific. So jumping into winter, uh, into winter, uh, this is the second of our new cars this month. This is the racer Tachyon Speed. Again, we'll jump into that later on. It's amazing. Uh, you should wait for that. And then the 80% completion is the Ferrari 408 Pista, which is another amazing car. So in the trial Ice Age, we've got the Forza Edition Ford, uh, Ford Falcon, sorry. Uh, and then in tip of the iceberg, we get the legendary Maserati Tipo 61 birdcage, called birdcage for the amazing framework in it. In cold storage, you've got the 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT. It's a bit of a tongue twister, that one. And getting cold street gets you the 2015 Audi uh, TTRS. And spring, uh, you get another backstage pass for 50%, and this time a, a first-generation Toyota MR2. And then jumping into spring, this is where the puns start. Easter buggy gets you the rabbit outfit. Spring games gets you the Ford number 11 Rockstar F-150 trophy truck. Wood Friday gets you the amazing-looking Alfa Romeo TZ2. Scrambled Megs has a definite theme here is another rally spec Forza edition. This time it's the Renault 5 Turbo. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean that. And then to finish things out, we had the Koenigsegg Hunt, sorry, uh, which gets you the bunny ears. Uh, that's my kind of Easter egg hunt, the Koenigsegg Hunt, that one. <laughs> Someone definitely had a lot of fun naming all those spring ones. Although, shout out to Silicon Rally, do like that one as well. First time yeah, hearing that one. <laughs> there's some great ones in there. Our uh, game design team doing a good job yet again. As always. Um, so we spoke about the two new reward cars. So let's start with the Tachyon, because that is uh, quite the wonder to behold. It's a prototype electric sports car. So let's take a look at what that's all about. looks kind of amazing that trailer makes it look fantastic as well what it's like amazing job on that um so what can you tell us about this car apart from what like oh, i've just seen <laughs> <laughs> uh so not only does it look like a batmobile but it's also a, it's a street legal prototype electric hypercar that's um it's mainly for for showcasing new technologies and new design processes um so one of the big things is it's electric um quite a lot of power on this one so it's over 1200 horsepower i think it's 1250 
And really interestingly, it's uh, 3,650 foot-pounds of torque. And that's because the motor only revs like three or 4,000 RPM. In fact, there's six motors, not one, sorry. Um, it's pretty uncommon with electric cars. Most, most electric motors rev much higher than that. Um, so it, it has this absolutely insane amount of torque and just this real grunt wherever you, at whatever speed you're at. Um, so along, <laughs> so the cockpit's also a, a very unique and innovative design. It's a, bit, it's a lot like a jet fighter as you can see here. Um, and it's got these amazing double hinge doors as well, which again, an, a, a new innovation. Um, so more specs for you. Uh, th so the batteries are, again, to support the, the massive power uh, are, are fairly huge themselves. Um, 2,650 amp batteries uh, capable of producing 1.4 megawatts at peak, which is, again, huge numbers for an electric car. Um, it also has a really unique sound. Um, it, it's very sci-fi sounding because of that low revving motor. It doesn't sound like a normal electric car. It's a much lower frequency. Um, yeah. The audio in game is from the, the actual car as well because there's, there's nothing similar to it. Um, so we had to go out and capture the, the real car. And on top of all of this, that amazing bodywork, the kind of Batmobile style bodywork gives it a lot of downforce um, with kind of user selectable modes. Uh, and in, in the highest downforce mode, it's, it's about 1,000 pounds of downforce, 455 kilos, 150 mile an hour. So it's really up there with top end kind of Koenig's eggs, McLarens and things like that. So yeah. yeah, an amazing car. Very stylish as well. I love that shape at the back. Like you say, it's just that Batmobile sort of shape. It looks like the Batarang at the back. Yeah. <laughs> and it sounds like you're inside an airplane, which is not a bad thing, because it's like really calming hum, just like, hmm. Um, right, well, shifting gears, no pun intended. The other <laughs> reward car this series is a rally car. Here it is in action. <laughs> Now, where I might be afraid to sort of look at the tachyon funny in case it, you know, something bad happens. I feel like you could probably have a bit of fun with that one in the mud and not be afraid to knock it around a bit. Uh, tell us about that car that we just saw. Yep, so that's the 2007 Peugeot 207 Super 2000. Um, Super 2000 is the kind of important bit in the name there. It refers to the regulations it was built to for rallying. So back in 2007, there was quite a few rallying series that kind of lived under the main WRC one. Um, it's very similar to a WRC car, with a big difference being in the engine. So instead of a, a two-liter turbo, which they're using back then, uh, this is just two-liter normally aspirated. But it makes an astonishing amount of power for a, a normally aspirated two-liter at 280 horsepower. It does that by revving up to about 9,000 RPM. Uh, it really gives these things a unique sound on on the rally stage. So rally cars use the whooshy whooshy turbo noises. This is that really like high screaming kind of. Uh, intense sound of a normally aspirated engine. Um, so much like WRC cars, it's obviously all wheel drive. And this car in particular was actually very successful. It won the Intercontinental Rally Championship uh, with Chris Meek behind the wheel. Chris Meek's also gone on to, to, to rally for, I think it was Mini and WRC. Um, it's a really, really cool car. I love cars like this because I, I see Peugeot 207s, things like that on the road every day. And it's just great seeing a car kind of used to seeing every day in rally form. Um, they've got that true uh, race on Sunday, sell on Monday kind of vibe going on. And th this car, the last time we saw it in the franchise was Forza Motorsport 4, so it was great to, to, to bring it back again. Yeah, I was gonna say, it looks like you can just go pick up your shop in on the Monday <laughs> and go to the rally course the next day. <laughs> just interchange. It's a car of many talents. It is, it is. And I'm, I'm sure there's some space somewhere in the back in the, in the roll cage to put your shopping so it doesn't go oh, flying. Oh yeah, yeah sort of slot it in there, it's like Tetris. It's all it yeah. to the fun. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I, I love cars like this. Uh, I think rally cars, uh, they, they really speak to the, the Horizon world. Uh, it's my go-to car for, for pretty much any kind of gameplay. If I don't have enough time to select a car and multiplayer, it's, it's whatever rally car is closest to, to me. Yeah, absolutely. Um, 